Hey YouTubers, it's Graphite Central here. Today I'm gonna show you in depth of the beginner's basics on Sony Vegas Pro or Sony Vegas. Um, so first up, if you um, have an import media section, how to import media is to either press on the import media button or just drag a video from your file, which is another way. So also you can make video timelines and audio tracks onto your Sony Vegas bottom place. This is actually the what place you actually edit your videos with. So if you press Control Shift Q, a video track will come out. If you press Control Q, I mean, yeah, then the audio track will come up. So this is useful for your videos. So let's say I wanted to import footage from a video that is in the making. Just drag it into your video. If it's more, you can just zoom in. Okay, so you can add an audio if you want. So I'm just going to go onto my iTunes. Also, for Sony Vegas, there are a lot of products you can buy online for your videos and lots of tutorials that you can follow. So thank you for choosing my one. Symbols, you can just add something, just drag it onto the timeline, and you'll have it. Sorry, I'm wearing headphones, it might not do anything for you, but... The soundtrack will have two layers. The, um, the pan is if you want it on the left of your speakers, or if you want it on the right of the speakers. If you want perfect viewing, just go on the center. Now, let's say you spoke a whole lot, not much. You can adjust your volume for your video. And you can also move your video around. Let's say this video is not exactly full screen. Let's just say it wasn't. Just going to go on properties and maintain aspect ratio and press OK. Then it will actually be your 1 to 80 by 720 if you're going on widescreen. Now you can uh, slow down stuff if you wanted to. So you're just going to do that or that. Yeah, control. And then there will be this arrow that comes like that. And then the video will slow down. Usually it wouldn't because it was just cut off. That's the bad part of Sony Vegas Pro. Now here's the effects tab. You can put in any effect you want. Um, except some are really advanced, so you don't need to do it. Transitions is just like Windows Movie Maker, but better, but all useful. See, you can do that. You can do this, 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 and everything that you can see. Now there's a media generator. These are just generators that just come into your video. So this, so you can add credits on here, such as drag it on, and the credit box will just come up. So that's another way. So yes, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you subscribe, comment and like this video and bye.